Welcome to another edition of High School Lowdown for Ernest Boker and Jeff Bird. I'm Steve Wilson. Well, Warren Central has an off week this week, and they're coming off a very disappointing loss to Natchez. I guess the team that really needs an off week is Warren Central. You know, had a really tough stretch of games. Natchez is a very good team, has a chance to be a playoff team in 6A in that particular region. And then Lexington Hattiesburg is a team that has a new coach, and looks like they're coming on. So I think Josh is going to have to the troops. And uh, this appears like what they had to work on is their offense. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, only 10 points left. They got a 10 nothing lead, and then they just shut down after that. And that's just real off 29 straight points. I think the same thing happened with, with Hattiesburg. They had a touchdown early, and then the offense just kind of went away, and they got to work on that be consistent because they have a very tough game coming back to start the next when they come back northwest ranking unbeaten that's not an easy go <laughs> well st al will be taking on dexter and it's kind of a t- tyler town twin bill but last week they had the best effort of the bj smith art era yeah carlton campbell uh, 174 yards three touchdowns on the ground you know, return the interception for another one Great defensive effort, uh, great line play. You covered that one. Uh, what did you see from them that just stood out? Well, their offensive line was dominant. Their def- defensive line did a great job of uh, derailing Salem's potent ground game. They were they were outmatched man-to-man as far as weight, but they were able to more than hold their own. And this is uh, this is also the, the start of a big stretch for St. Al. This region – is a jumble. There's only two teams that have really kind of separated, Bogachet and Cathedral. Uh, only three teams that don't have a loss yet after two weeks. So this is really a good chance for St. Al to get, to get back to two and one, to get a leg up in the district and, and get in front of everybody else and try and stay there for a couple weeks so they can rattle off a couple more wins. Well, PCA will be taking on uh, Park Place, and Park Place in their first year in 11 man are definitely going to be a, an easier opponent than uh, Newt. Newton County was a very you know, explosive team. They have one of the best players in the Mace, Dylan Williams. He runs the opening kickoff back 80 yards. He goes straight off one end and got did not get touched. And once that kid got ahead of steam, it is amazing how you can turn. He's a big kid. He's like 200 pounds. But when he turned the corner, it was like 250 pounds of a momentum going. And he, was, he had two touchdown runs about the same way. He would get around the end. Once he got ahead of steam, no one could get to it. And unfortunately, PCA and on their defense, kind of like Miami the other night on, the, on Welker's long touchdown run, they had no support. Once he brought a certain way, uh, no one was there. Well, Vicksburg will be hosting Lawrence County, and uh, I guess the Gators will be expecting another huge performance for the third week in a row from Cameron Cooksey. Yeah, he is. Their offense is just absolutely ridiculous right now. He's, they're averaging 350 passing yards a game. Cameron. Cooks, he had 438 and six touchdowns last week. Both were county records. Uh, and he's only 174, 175 away from breaking Ernest Moore's all-time record. Uh, and A.J. Stamps, his best receiver, uh, needs about 160 or so, 165 to set the receiving yards record. So a lot of history in play this week uh, over at Memorial Stadium. And Lawrence County is not exactly a pushover team. No. Our town wasn't either. No, Vicksburg really has played a uh, a pretty respectable non-region schedule. Uh, Tyler Town, Richwood's usually a pretty good team. Brandon, obviously, a very good team. But which makes it even more impressive what they're doing on offense. Their their big problem is they stop themselves. Uh, you know, last week they had 438 yards passing, but they also turned it over five times and dropped six passes. So it kind of makes you wonder what this team can do offensively if they just don't hurt themselves. If they finish a few of those drives, we could be looking at maybe a hundred point night from from Vicksburg. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of High School Lowdown for Ernest Boger and Jeff Bird. I'm Steve Wilson.